All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me. You only do so if you actually can. So it's time for the monthly oil production levels update for all non-OPEC members, starting with a former OPEC member, Angola, who left uh, about a year and a half ago for the same reason as most other nations leaving with the exception of Indonesia. And that being that, Angola did not want to continue participating in the permanent production cuts that were effectively permanent and as more and more people started dipping out and fewer and fewer members were actually complying with the orders anymore the group aka saudi arabia the decision maker of the group decided to finally call them off as they were effectively a facade at this point but the slow disintegration of OPEC is a whole different video for another time. See that link in the corner. Angola peaked at about 2 million barrels per day in their production. And that was about a decade and a half or two decades ago. And they've declined since down close to 1 million. They've managed to hold off here for a little bit. But that's not going to drag out forever. And they this time came in at 1.07 million barrels per day. Argentina had previously peaked around 800, declined down to only about 400,000 barrels per day. However, as they started fracking operations in the Vaca Muerte shale over the last number of years, they have brought themselves back up pretty close to 800 and are around 770 or 780 right now. Australia was once up at 800 as well. However, they're now down under 300 and are not coming back up like Argentina is. So Australia is down in the 200,000s, this time coming in at 242. Azerbaijan peaked up at 1.1 million and has since fallen down under 600,000. And this time, likely an abrupt maintenance shutdown had a sudden drop down to 546. Brazil, with yet another new field expansion, recently started up, now has a production capacity total that they should hopefully be getting back up to soon of about 4.1 or 4.2 million barrels per day. However, for many months, they've been down a bit under three and a half as numerous large fields offshore were shut down for extensive maintenance work. They got as low as 3.2, but stuff has gradually been getting switched back on over the past couple months, and they are now back up to 3.6 million barrels per day. Canada this year broke up over 5 million barrels per day for the first time, and has leveled off between 5.1 and 5.2, and is once again coming in around 5.1 million barrels per day. China had gotten up to 4.5 or about 4.5 before. They declined down to the mid threes, or if they have been managing to drag themselves back up into the lower fours, but they're starting to stretch those efforts thin. This time they came in at 4.34 million barrels per day. Colombia, after hitting their second peak, has been declining in stair-step fashion every few years. They've been hanging out in the mid or upper 700s, this time coming in at 770,000 barrels per day. Ecuador hit their highest point at around 550 and has basically run the limits as their territory is not that big. Granted, what they did have was prolific, and they've entered their slow terminal decline down now through the 400s. Coming in in the 470s again at 475,000 barrels per day. Egypt was up close to 1 million for a little bit a while back. And has since declined down to about 600,000 for a while. Then down to the 550s for a while. And now it looks like they're going down through their next stair-step fall or drop towards either 500 or probably the 450s maybe, this time continuing down and going to 515,000 barrels per day. Ghana had been declining, however some enhanced recovery operations restored a bit of production and have kept them in the 180s for a little bit, this time coming in at 186. And another new field offshore, either next year or the year after I believe, could be bringing them up to around 250 at that time. Ayana over in South America having declined a bit down from the 680 it capped out at. This time, this time they came in at 654,000 barrels per day. And in the second half of this year, their next field will be starting up 
which will bring them up to about 900. India held a plateau up around 800,000 or so for a long while, several decades. However, they did recently, over the last few years, reach the end of their ability to maintain that, and they've declined down to around 600,000. This time, this time coming in at 613. Meanwhile, their domestic oil consumption levels are almost at 6 million barrels per day. Indonesia once held a plateau up around 1.5 million barrels per day for about three decades. However, they reached the end of their ability to maintain oil output at least, as once they started pushing offshore, the majority of what's in the majority of what's in those waters around them, just like with Australia, is primarily natural gas, while their domestic consumption, like others, continues to grow, exceeding two million barrels per day now. Their production levels are now consistently under six hundred thousand, this time coming in at five seventy eight. Kazakhstan, once we hit this year, they brought a field expansion project online, which put them up over 2 million barrels per day for the first time, and set a new record high yet again, this time just a little bit past the previous month, going from 2.16 up to 2.17 million barrels per day. Malaysia was up around 800 for a little bit, but inevitably they hit the end of their ability to maintain that, and they've declined down into the 400,000s, They've typically been wobbling around the upper 400s for the last few years, this time coming in at 483. Mexico peaked up at about 3.5 a, a few decades ago. Mexico peaked up at 3.5 about two decades ago, maybe 2.5, and, and has since declined down to the upper ones, which is where they're going to continue holding for the next five years or so as they do have two more sizable fields in the Gulf that they will be bringing online between now and 2030, whose output levels will be just enough with the sudden boost that will appear from them each time to keep them in this general range that they've been in for the last five years or so. This time in particular, they came in at 1.72 million barrels per day. Norway, while no longer at its North Sea production heights, is maintaining decently higher levels than the UK has, and they are sticking around 2 million barrels per day for the moment. Once the Hammerfest field comes online fully, they should be going up to over 2.1 again. This time they came in at 1.97 million barrels per day. Oman continuing to hold a bit under a million, this time coming in at 987,000. Qatar, the peninsula nation in the Persian Gulf, another former OPEC member. They're carrying on with their roughly 1.3 million barrel per day plateau, coming in at 1.32 again. Russia had reached close to 11 million barrels per day until invading Ukraine, and due to immediate customer absence from Europe turning away from them, they had to cut their production down rapidly to about 10. And since then, they've continued declining further, as the oil majors who had rescued Russia's production post-Soviet collapse all departed the country, obviously in 2022, and in their absence, the Russian oil and gas industry is not really able to hold it all together. So they continued going down after a little bit. They have dropped below 9 million barrels per day, and they got down to 8.7 previously. However, over the past month or so, they were able to stall that and push it back up a little bit this time, which they've only managed to do two other times, if I remember correctly, since everything began. And they were able to push the numbers back up from 8.7 up to 8.72 million barrels per day. Turkmenistan will be going down below the threshold soon enough eventually, but for the moment they are still holding around 190 at 191,000 as they've gradually come down from their peak, which was in the upper 200s. The U.S. continues its wobbly, plateaued peak around the area I expected, the upper mid-13s between 13.4 and either 13.7 or 13.8, oscillating between 13.5 and 13.6, and this time coming in a bit under 13.5 at specifically 13.47. The U.K., long fallen from its North Sea heights, and not having the farther reach of offshore territory to expand into like Norway does, has continued their way downwards and are now under 700,000 barrels per day of oil production. 
this time coming in at 681. And, and Vietnam will soon also be falling below the inclusion threshold as they held a plateau for a couple decades in the mid 300,000s. However, they have gradually fallen now down to close to 150, this time coming in at 154,000 barrels per day. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out any of the hundreds of other videos on the channel about this and all kinds of other similar topics. PayPal, Patreon, and the YouTube membership button thing are all down there. If you want to support me, just only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive with these graphs and all kinds of other graphs across all kinds of different subjects. There's a link below that to my photography Instagram, one in the top pinned comment to my Cats YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.